Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today in this video, I'm gonna be going over the changes to Medicare, specifically the costs, the changes to Medicare for 2021. I'm gonna include a bunch of links to some Medicare information on the government websites in my description below. So make sure you check out the description below to see those links to all these materials that I'm gonna be talking about today. I wanna to welcome back those subscribed members of my channel. Thank you once again for watching. For those of you that haven't subscribed, my name is Justin. I do updates on social security. I teach you how to save money, make money, and to build your net worth. So if any of those topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And if you find this content helpful, it would really help me out if you hit the like button so that YouTube will share this video with others like you. So what are the changes in cost for Medicare in 2021? First off, I'm gonna be going over Medicare Part B premiums and deductibles. Now Medicare Part B covers medically necessary services, services or supplies that are needed to diagnose or treat your medical condition and that meet accepted standards of medical practice. It also includes preventative services, such as healthcare to prevent illness like the flu, detected at an early stage when treatment is most likely to work best. So basically it's gonna cover your doctor's visits and other things like that. I'll include a link to the medicare.gov website where it covers all the things that are covered by Medicare Plan Part B. So as far as costs go, where are the premiums and deductibles for 2021? The standard Medicare premium for Part B will be $148.50 in 2021. This is an increase of $3.90 per month from the 2020 premiums. The annual deductible for Medicare Part B is $203 in 2021, which is $5 up from $198 in 2020. So the premiums are going up slightly in 2021, but the costs are pretty minimal. $3.90 per month for your premiums, and $5 overall for your deductible in 2021. Let's go over Medicare Part A premiums and deductibles. Medicare Part A covers the following, inpatient hospital care, skilled nursing facility care, nursing home care, which includes inpatient care in a skilled nursing facility that's not custodial or long-term care. It also includes hospice care, and also home health care. 99% of Medicare Part A recipients do not pay a premium for Medicare Part A. And this is if they have at least 40 quarters of Medicare covered employment. However, the Medicare Part A deductible is increasing slightly to $1,484 in 2021, up $76 from the 2020 deductible of $1,408. Now I wanna talk a little bit about Medicare Part D. Now I'm not gonna go over all of the details of Medicare Part D as it is a very complicated subject, but here's a chart for Medicare Part D premiums for 2021. The rates are only going up slightly for those making above $88,000 per year and file an individual tax return and more than $176,000 per year if you file a joint tax return with your spouse. Now, if you are below those limits of $88,000 and file individually and $176,000 and you file jointly, then you will just pay your plan premiums. Now, Medicare Part D is offered through private insurance companies. So the premiums will vary depending on the insurance company you go through. Now, one thing that they have done with the Medicare Part D plan is they have a new plan portal to help you figure out which plan is best for you. It's called the Medicare Plan Finder, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Using this plan finder, it will help you search out plans that will work best for you based on price and coverage and everything else. Now in 2021, the Medicare Part D deductible is $445. Until you've paid the $445 deductible, you will pay a discounted network rate for your prescriptions and medications. And after that initial coverage, you will then pay a copay for your medications. Thanks to President Trump, insulin now has a maximum copay of $35 per month in 2021. This change would mean that those that enroll in a participating Medicare Part D plan could save up to $446 per year for their insulin payments. So using the Medicare Plan Finder, find a plan if you're interested for Medicare Part D, as many of them will have that deal where you will pay no more than $35 per month for insulin if you are in need of insulin every single month. So I wanna talk about open enrollment for Medicare. Open enrollment is currently going on until December 7th. 
During this time, you can shop plans, you can see what options you have available using that Medicare plan finder. So before December 7th, hopefully sometime well before December 7th, go through and look at all the options for plans and make any changes you need to before that December 7th deadline when it's no longer open enrollment. During the ongoing Medicare open enrollment, Medicare beneficiaries can compare coverage options like Original Medicare, which we've already talked about a little bit, Part A and Part B, as well as Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is insurance that is on top of your Medicare that is provided through private companies. Now there are higher premiums that are included with Medicare Advantage, but there is better coverage available. As you know, Medicare coverage and plans can vary from year to year, especially Medicare Advantage plans. So you'll want to look at the plan finder to see what changes you may want to make before December 7th. Now I've talked a little bit about the Medicare plan finder, some of the things that Medicare Plan Finder makes it easier for beneficiaries to do is to compare pricing between original Medicare, Medicare Advantage plans, Medicare Prescription Drug Plans or Medicare Part D, and Medicare Supplemental Insurance or Medigap policies. Using the Plan Finder, you can compare coverage on smartphones or on a computer. You can compare up to three Medicare Part D plans or three Medicare Advantage plans side by side using the Plan Finder. You can also get costs and benefits, including which Medicare Advantage plans offer extra benefits. You can also build a prescription drug list and find Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage that best meets your needs. So the plan finder is going to be very helpful, and so make sure you use that over the next couple weeks before the December 7th deadline so that you can make any changes to coverage that you feel will be a better option for you in 2021. The good news for Medicare is that the premiums and deductibles are not going up by much for 2021. And that is good news because as many of you know, Social Security and the COLA is not really going up for very much either. I go over Social Security changes in a previous video and I'll leave a link to that in the description below and also look for it in the corner of this video so that you can check out the Social Security changes for 2021 as well. Now the cost of living adjustment or COLA was very minimal for 2021, but luckily Medicare in uh, premiums are also very minimal for 2021 as well. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon.